Good afternoon. First, to observe, Attorney General Barr appears to have shown an unsettling willingness to undermine his own department in order to protect President Trump. Barr's words and actions suggest he has been disingenuous and misleading in saying the President is clear of wrongdoing. Attorney General Barr's letter summarizing the report from March 24th quoted the special counsel report, quote, while this report does not conclude that the President committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. He ignored what is in the Mueller report just two sentences before, where the special counsel concluded that, quote, if we had confidence after a thorough investigation of the facts that the President clearly did not commit obstruction of justice, we would state so. Based on the facts and the applicable legal standards, however, we are unable to reach that judgment. Obviously, this changes the emphasis and meaning of the paragraph, and obviously he didn't include the key sentences. Second, Special Counsel Mueller went on to say that, quote, a thorough FBI investigation would uncover facts about the campaign and the President personally that the President could have understood to be crimes or that would have risen to personal and political concerns, close quote. For some reason, Attorney General Barr excluded this critical finding as well from his version of events. The Attorney General's decision to withhold the full report from Congress is regrettable, but no longer surprising. Barr has so far refused to work with the committee to provide us with information, the kind of information that has been customarily provided in the past and to which the Judiciary Committee is entitled. These concerns and many others will be addressed when Barr testifies before the committee on May 2nd. Even in its incomplete form, however, the Mueller report, incomplete because part of it is redacted, even in its incomplete form, however, the Mueller report outlines disturbing evidence that President Trump engaged in obstruction of justice and other misconduct. Contrary to the Attorney General's statement this morning, that the White House, quote, fully cooperated, unquote, with the investigation, the report makes clear that the President refused to be interviewed by the special counsel and refused to provide written answers to follow-up questions. Page 13, volume 2. Makes clear that his associates destroyed evidence relevant to the Russian investigation. Page 10, volume 1. The report concluded there was substantial evidence, in quotes, that President Trump attempted to prevent an investigation into his campaign and his own conduct. Page 76, page 78, page 90, page 157, volume 2. That is why I have formally requested that Special Counsel Mueller testify before the House Judiciary Committee as soon as possible so we can get some answers to these critical questions. Because we clearly can't believe what Attorney General Barr tells us. Finally, it is clear the Special Counsel's Office conducted an incredibly thorough investigation in order to preserve the evidence for future investigators. The Special Counsel made clear that he did not exonerate the President, and the responsibility now falls to Congress to hold the President accountable for his actions. Congress must get the full, unredacted report, along with the underlying evidence uncovered by Special Counsel Mueller. Congress requires this material in order to perform our constitutionally mandated responsibilities. Thank you. That's a statement. I'll answer some questions. Yes. Uh, when you say that it's Congress's responsibility <coughs> to hold the president accountable, does that mean impeachment? That's one possibility. There are there are others. We see, we obviously have to get to the bottom of what happened and uh, uh, take whatever action seems necessary at that time. It's too early to reach those conclusions. It's one reason we wanted the Mueller report. We still want the Mueller report in its entirety, and we want other evidence too. Chairman, will, will Congress uh, proceed with their own obstruction inquiries? We will proceed with our inquiries. I mean, the first thing we will do is is make sure we get the rest of the report and the underlying evidence. We will have uh, uh, Attorney General Barr testify in front of the Judiciary Committee on May 2nd. I anticipate that uh, uh, Mr. Mueller will testify sometime in the next couple of weeks after that. 
and we will probably hold a series of hearings on on other aspects, and we'll see where we go. From there. If you choose to go toward impeachment, how important would this report be? Do you think this we, provides we, we, a roadmap? Well, it's, it's too early to talk about that, you know, because we, we will have to go follow the evidence where it leads, and I don't know exactly where it will lead. If I did know, I wouldn't need all this information. Um, but certainly, uh, I think from the structure of the report, although I'm a little tentative because I've only skimmed it, we haven't had it very long, I think it was probably written with the intent of uh, providing Congress a roadmap, as, as other reports have in the past, and uh, with a lot of the redactions and others, uh, Attorney General Barr seems to be trying to frustrate that intent. Well, okay, one more question, one more question. Congressman, you said you wanted to hear from Mueller to better understand his findings. Based on what you've seen from the report, what specifically do you want to hear from Mueller about that you already don't have an understanding? Oh, I, 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 there are dozens of things you well, want to hear. A, just give me a few. Well, for example, um, Barr says, I don't remember where he said it, whether this is verbally or in one of his letters to us. He told us that uh, the special prosecutor's uh, determination that the president, uh, uh, that he wasn't going to indict the president on uh, 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 on obstruction charges had nothing to do with the Department of Justice uh, doctrine or opinion that a sitting president is unindictable as a matter of law. There's a lot of material in the report that seems to indicate that that doctrine was considerably important. We want to get to the bottom of that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Why did we come all this way? I think we have to answer some questions, right? Wrap up, Elizabeth.